Growing concerns this morning over reports of missing detainees in Cuba as the communist regime cracks down on those protesters over the weekend who were fighting for freedom. Florida Republican Congresswoman Maria Elvira Salazar is the daughter of Cuban refugees, and she joins us right now live from Miami. Good morning to you, Congresswoman. Good to see you, Steve. Are we seeing in on the streets of Havana the beginning of the end? Yeah, I, we certainly hope so, that we are seeing the beginning of the end. But I do tell you that this is the first time in 62 years of repressive socialist tyranny that the Cubans go out into the street and demand freedom. They're saying it, libertad. And not only that, you see the American flags. What does that tell you? That they want to have what we have, the Constitution, freedoms. And for us, it's, it's a new dawn. It's a yeah. new day. You know, I represent the Cuban exile community in Miami. That is my district, number 27 in South Florida. I am, I'm the first generation American, daughter of people like them, that they wanted freedom, but they had to flee. So this is a historical moment that we have. And the message to the Biden administration, and there is no parties here, Democrats, independents, or Republicans, we're all together, we're Americans trying to take right. freedom to those people. Listen, Cuba is closer to Miami than Orlando is to Miami. So we're right there, we're neighbors. It's our duty, our historical duty. The Biden administration needs to step up and tell the Cuban people, we are with you. Indeed. And we were just looking at some of the images, uh, one of them of a police car that the crowd had overturned, overturned. Also, there was uh, there were reports of looting. You know, I, I'm old enough to remember Castro and the Castro's never would have allowed this to happen. How did this get to happen for two and a half hours over the weekend? Because uh, people are so fed up that they have nothing else to lose for their lives. Either they die or they acquire what they want, freedom. And that's what they have been shouting. You had 8,000 people uh, near the Capitol. You've never seen that, like you're saying. This is unprecedented. That's why I'm saying this is the moment. And, and I am very happy that in the news media, people like Fox, you have been clarifying the misconception that people are out on the street because of COVID. Oh, yeah, COVID is the, is the, the straw that broke the camel's back because they don't have vaccines. The, medic, the doctors have been exported to other countries because yeah. that's the way the regime gains dollars. So there are no doctors. There are no nurses. They don't have vaccines. They don't have food. So people are dying by the thousands. So COVID is the last, the last is the straw that broke the camel's back. But don't let them fool you. This is about freedom and about human rights, just like everyone else. There is no Cuban exceptionality. Cubans are like Americans or like Peruvians or like everywhere, everyone else in the world. They want to live in freedom. Well, let's see if that happens. It could be the beginning is the, of the end as we started this uh, interview with. Indeed. All right, Maria. Thank you. Elvira Salazar, thank you very much for joining us today from uh, down in the Miami area. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.